Hi, my name is Dieter Kaboth, and I've been very fortunate to win four World Elk Calling Championships with the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. Today I'm here with North 40 Outfitters to help you learn how to blow elk bugles just a little bit better. Today I'm using a double tube dual elk call. And the nice thing about the, this dual elk call is it has two different chambers. For instance, if I'm talking to you, it sounds pretty natural. But the second I pinch my nose and start talking like this, I sound like a Martian for outer space or something. But the bottom line, it just doesn't sound as natural as talking out of my nasal cavity as much as my throat cavity. And it's the same thing with the dual chambered elk call. You're calling out of both chambers and it sounds a lot more natural than just using one chamber. Today I'm using an external elk call with an with external mouthpiece. It's very simple to use. It might look complicated, but it's really not. What you really do is you, you put it to your mouth, and what you want to do is you want to put your bottom lip on this lower latex right here. And if you press very soft on it, don't press hard, you'll make a low tone as I start to push air through it. You want to force air across your, your lip or use your tongue, whatever you feel most comfortable with. And you press very soft, it'll go from a low tone. As I steadily increase the pressure, it'll go from a low tone to a high tone. And that's going to be your bugle. Not too bad, right? Now, you can add some realism to the call. And one thing that you can do is you can growl a little bit in the beginning, or, or through the tube is how it sounds. So as I start to press it, I'm gonna to start to growl and then add a little bit more realism to the call. All right? After the end of the high note, you notice I'm snapping my lip off or my tongue, and it'll make it sound a little bit more realistic. It's not, I'm not gonna come off like an elephant, like You know what I mean? You wanna snap it off and be a little crisp with that, and it sounds a lot more realistic. So as I go into the high note now, I'm gonna growl, and then as I go into the high note, I'm gonna hum like this. Mm, mm. It's gonna sound just like that, but it's gonna add a little bit more realism to your bugles. Listen, I'm gonna raise my finger when I make that sound so you'll know I'm making it, so you can hear the difference. Adds a little bit more quality or more resonance in your, in your elk call. So I'm gonna growl in the beginning. I didn't do that last time, but I'm gonna growl in the beginning this time, hum, and this, put it all together, and this is how it's gonna sound. Not too bad. With a little bit of practice, you can do that too. Now, one thing I'm gonna share with you further is a chuckle. Sometimes bulls just do this, or sometimes um, they'll chuckle a lot of times at the end of their bugle, but this is how it sounds, and I'm gonna show you how to use it. So what I'm doing now, before I was pressing very soft with my, with my tongue or my lip, again, whatever feels most comfortable to you, but now what I'm doing is I'm pressing hard and I'm making a high note, and I'm snapping off my tongue or my lip. And it's okay if you mess up there, I just did. It's just practice makes perfect, right? But what I'm doing is I'm snapping it off, making abrupt sounds. Now I'm gonna add some realism to it. When I snap off my tongue, I'm gonna go, Ooh, like somebody just sucked me in the gut. So this is how that's gonna sound when I put it together. Take one chuckle at a time, relax. A lot of people, they put this up to their mouth and they start going, <laughs> you know, take your time, relax. Get one good chuckle out of it and then start building up the, your routine basically or, or start building up the, the coordination to make that sound every time. So, Might take you a couple of days, but do it one at a time, make, make it perfect each one. And then, like I said, build up the transition into making your chuckles, put them together and it'll sound a lot more realistic. Now I'm gonna take it one step further. Now you don't have to do this to call an elk, but I, darn it, I want you to be the best caller you can be, okay? That's what, that's what North 40 Outfitters are all about. They wanna make sure that you can be the best you can be. And that's why they have me on this video to show you everything that I know. Well, not everything within five minutes, but I'm going to show you what else to do to make it sound a little bit more perfect. 
One thing I like to do is suck air in like at the end of the chuckle. So it goes, you, 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 you. You know, elk are big animals. They got big lung capacity. It's like a big bellow on a fire. So they blow out, you. And then when you push, pull it back apart, like a lung, you hear it suck air back in. And again, do you need to do this? No, but if you want to be perfect at it and, and at your calling, you might want to practice this. So when I'm blowing air out, I'm, I'm doing it just like I showed you before. Now I'm going to suck air in. Now I'm going to start to put it together a little bit faster and faster succession so it sounds a lot more natural. Sounds a little bit better, it sounds a little bit more realistic. You know, I just want you to be the best you can be. So does North 40 Outfitters. You know, their, their staff and their employees are totally capable of teaching you all of these techniques. And you know something, they wanna make sure you're successful in the field.